When you look around your home, your car, your workplace, or even the gadgets you carry every day, you might assume everything is made from simple, single material components, metal, plastic, wood, glass. But in reality, many of the most important objects in our modern world are made from something far more sophisticated, composite materials. These materials don't just rely on the natural properties of one substance. Instead, they combine two or more distinct materials to create something stronger, lighter, or more resilient than any of the individual components could ever be on their own. So today, we're diving into a fundamental question. What exactly is a composite material? And why do we rely on it so heavily in engineering, manufacturing, and everyday life? Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, a composite material is created by combining at least two different materials that remain physically separate but work together mechanically. One material acts as the matrix, which is the continuous phase that binds everything together, while the other component is the reinforcement, which provides added strength or rigidity. Think of it like baking a cake. The dough is the matrix that holds everything in place, while the chocolate chips, nuts, or fruit act as reinforcements that enhance its structure and flavor. Except in engineering, instead of improving flavor, the reinforcement boosts performance, whether that means resisting bending, reducing weight, or improving durability. One of the best ways to understand composites is to look at examples we've used for thousands of years. Even ancient civilizations were unknowingly composite engineers. When early builders mixed straw into clay bricks, they were creating a simple composite. The clay matrix provided shape and basic strength, while the straw reinforcement prevented cracking and improved structural integrity. Nature itself also gives us incredible composites. Wood, for example, is a natural composite made of cellulose fibers bound together by lignin. Bone is another composite, blending collagen and mineral crystals. These biological examples show that composites aren't just modern innovations, they are foundational to how structures work in the natural world. But the composites used in modern engineering have advanced far beyond clay bricks and wooden beams. Today, materials like fiberglass, carbon fiber, and Kevlar are at the center of countless industries. Take fiberglass, one of the most common engineered composites. It combines thin glass fibers with a polymer matrix, usually a type of plastic resin. The result is a material that is lightweight, corrosion-resistant, and surprisingly strong for its weight. You'll find it in everything from car body panels to surfboards to safety helmets. Carbon fiber composites take the idea even further. By embedding extremely strong, lightweight carbon fibers into a resin, we get materials that are stronger than steel but significantly lighter. That's why carbon fiber is the choice for aircraft components, high-performance sports equipment, racing bikes, and Formula One car chassis. One of the main reasons composites are so valuable is their ability to be tailored. Unlike metals, which have fixed properties based on their chemical structure, composites can be designed to behave exactly the way engineers want them to. Need something that bends in one direction but stays rigid in another? Adjust the fiber orientation. Need something ultra lightweight but able to withstand high temperatures? Choose a different reinforcement material or a more advanced matrix resin. 
This customizability is one of the biggest reasons composites are revolutionizing fields like aerospace, renewable energy, automotive engineering, and protective equipment. They give engineers the freedom to optimize materials for specialized, high-performance applications without relying on metals alone. Of course, no material is perfect and composites come with their own challenges. One issue is cost. Advanced composites, especially carbon fiber, can be expensive to produce because they require specialized manufacturing techniques. Another challenge is recycling. Unlike metals, which can be melted and reformed, composite materials often have components that are difficult to separate once combined. This creates obstacles for large-scale recycling and sustainability. However, researchers are actively developing new composite structures that can be broken down more easily or use bio-based materials to reduce environmental impact. As industries shift toward greener design practices, we can expect composites to become not only stronger and lighter, but more eco-friendly as well. Despite these challenges, the advantages of composites are so significant that they continue to dominate in critical applications. For example, Modern aircraft rely heavily on composite materials. More than half of the structure of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner is made from composites, allowing it to be lighter, more fuel efficient, and more durable compared to earlier aircraft made mostly of aluminum. Wind turbine blades, which need to be both incredibly long and lightweight, are made almost entirely from fiberglass composites. Even the sports world benefits. Tennis rackets, golf clubs, fishing rods, and professional bicycles all rely on composites to combine strength with responsiveness and vibration damping. In the end, composite materials are all around us, quietly shaping the modern world. They're in the planes we fly, the vehicles we drive, the sporting equipment we use, and even the protective gear that keeps us safe. By understanding how they work and why they're so useful, we gain a new appreciation for the innovation and engineering that make modern life possible. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.